Hey guys, welcome back to EDC TV. I uh, want to talk to you about the gun show I went to. Again, they wouldn't let me film, so I couldn't do a vlog. Uh, some products I got there. And I know I've been saying giveaway, giveaway, giveaways, and we haven't done any yet. It's not that, you know me, it's not that I don't want to give them away. Just uh, been really busy. But this video, stay tuned, because we're giving away something crazy. Don't go nowhere. Stay tuned, guys. We got a great show coming up. Hey, guys. Welcome back. So, let's talk about the gun show that I went to in Pennsylvania. Um, I guess it was just like the first one. They didn't have such great deals only because hunting season starting soon. And I don't think they lowered their prices. They actually bumped the prices up for ammo and rifles and you know hunting gear and stuff like that so um wasn't that good i got a few boxes of ammunition um i was going to pick up a knife but i said you know what i have my eye on something that i wanted to order so we'll go over that so we have one two three products to go over more products on the way <laughs> as always and then an unbelievable giveaway okay unbelievable with this video not stay tuned not do this you guys are going to reply hopefully to this video or comment and i guess the most valuable thing is i can see i guess who shares so if you share this a lot we'll show you we'll tell you what the winning the winner is going to win it's going to blow your mind all right but anyway so you guys know of a channel called Warrior Poet Society, John Lovell, I think his name is. He has, or he, I guess, patented or whatever, the cool ass ass thing. A ankle, hello, ankle trauma kit. Check it out. Um, I did some modifications and we'll go over that next. But this is basically a Velcro sleeve. You put it around your ankle, Velcro it on. Slide your pant leg over it. It looks bulky. And I guess I started running this for about a week. So the first few days, it's not not like uncomfortable as hurts. Just, you know, you got to, I guess this is about a pound or so. And, you know, when you're walking, it moves. I mean, it's, it's either the ones I have on my hip or now I have one on the ankle. I'm not going to carry both. But uh, at least it gives me an option. You know, if I don't want something on my hip that day, I can bust this out. Um, you don't have to have bell-bottom jeans to wear this, but you can't wear with skinny jeans, which I don't wear anyway because I'm not skinny. Um, but anyway, so the modifications, John sends it with, and, and the kit comes fully loaded. Uh, that is how much he's charging. Um, it comes not loaded as in packed. It comes everything together. This is empty and then you got to fill it with the stuff he sends you. He sends you with a bigger cat tourniquet. And I didn't like it. I had this small soft tee, which is a lot smaller. And when it goes in, it, it actually, you don't even see it in there anymore. You just have the little rod sticking up. He gives you a South or North American trauma shear. I upgraded it to the Leatherman um raptor i think it's called uh and again not because it's better just because again look at this it folds up the other one's this long so when it goes in here now I'll show you i put it in it goes a certain way i just gotta figure it uh, nope the other way so it goes in like that the velcro velcro goes through the handles and then tightens down and now you have your trauma shears you have your, you see, I don't want to take everything out, but a rub, the rubber gloves. And here, a SWAT T tourniquet. And then, what's pretty cool is, inside of this, the end looks sealed. But it's actually a secret compartment, which you open up like so. And I have in there some, like, boo-boo kit stuff. You know, some band-aids. So it's not only trauma. If my kid gets a little scrape or something like that, I have... So, um, and the other end, I'm doing the same thing. It's a little hard, but that's good because you don't want the stuff coming out. I have Bay or Aspirin in case you come across somebody having a heart attack or what have you. So this bad boy, guys, is my new trauma carry. And I got to tell you, I'm loving it. Um, check it out. Not cheap. Not expensive. 
but John does make some, or, you know, involved in some good stuff. You know, he's a, uh, a vet. Um, so, you got to support the vets. If it wasn't for them, we wouldn't have our freedom. So, check it out. Um, I'll try to post a picture of what it looks like on me. And, like I said, check it out, guys. It's a good little invention. Now, I was looking at some videos and I came across a video and a guy had the cold steel AD15 light. So I think that's how you say it, light leap. Um, we're gonna open it up. I did peek, I didn't run it, I didn't play with it. It's still in the bag. Now, when I did open it, I said, holy shit balls, it's huge. And I'm not a huge kind of knife guy. I, you know, I like my Benchmades. This bad boy, boom, look at the size of this. It is badass, there's no doubt about it. Um, nice deep pocket clip. What's the steel on this? I don't know, it just says AUS 10A. Um, I could find out, I guess, for you quickly here. Um, no, it actually doesn't, doesn't say. Handles five inch, blade lane three and a half, overalls eight and a half. Um, Blade thickness, 3.8 millimeters. Um, but Cold Steel makes good products. You know, it's not garbage, there's no doubt. Now, what's weird about this bad boy is how you close it. You actually have to pull away. Can you guys see that? You pull the handle away and then the blade folds down. So it's not a quick release. I don't know how you would do it with... <clears throat> it's a little hard still. Let me see it one hand. No. Yeah, I guess you can, but I'm not feeling it. I don't know if I'm gonna keep it. I don't know if I put it in my collection or not. Like I said, it is a heavy duty knife. It's definitely not, ah, see, I can't even flip it. It's, <clears throat> ugh, ah, it's tough, guys, very tough. So would I recommend it? I won't. So, um, but again, not saying it's bad. It's just not my cup of tea, but uh, something to check out. Um, then back to the show, this lady had a stand and she was selling, and it's weird because it's heating pads slash ice packets. Um, I don't want to do it. First of all, you won't see it, but can you see that little silver disc? It's inside this gel pack. So what you do is you grab that disc, pop it, and this stuff comes out. And within a few minutes, two minutes tops, this thing is hot like a heating pad that would, you would plug in. It lasts for, um, it gets to up to 130 degrees Fahrenheit, which is amazing. And um, lasts for three hours. That's pretty damn good. Oh, wait a minute. No, pads would need to be boiled for a product. Oh, okay. That's okay. Okay. Sorry. Sorry. Okay, so no, it lasts about two hours once it's hot. But then what you can do is you boil it for 10 to 20 minutes and now you can reuse it again. So again, you would snap that little silver thing. See it floating around in there? Boop, and then it makes it hot again. Uh, or you can just freeze it and then use it as a, an ice pack. So I picked up, there was like three for 20 bucks. Um, I'm thinking about doing as a giveaway. So, uh, one of them, I'm going to keep one for myself. I keep one in my EDC bag. So we're going to add this to an upcoming giveaway. It's pretty cool guys. Reusable pocket heating pad. I mean, if you want to know the company name, what is it? Palm, Palm, I don't know. You guys read it. I can't pronounce it, but that's what it is. Is there a website? Oh, yeah, www.palmnrg.com, um, creative technology. So check them out, guys, because if you have bad back, bad neck like I do, things like this come in amazing handy. Um, all right, so that's it for the gear. I wish I would have, um, oh, I should, oh, yeah, I can show you. This is not a live. I want to show you the upgrades on the new Glock 43X. Make it safe. There she is. I put the rubber handle. I upgraded the slide. It's milled out a little bit here and on the top. And of course, the Hollow Sun red dot. Um, and new sights, as you can see here. 
sight there and the front sight. Well, the Hollison's on. I didn't even know that. Uh, let me lower that down. To sh I was at the range this morning popping off a few. So, um, so anyway, that's it. It's got the TLR6. Uh, Love this gun, guys. And I am dead balls accurate. Here is a video if you'd like to watch. Not bad, man. Not bad. I'm getting good. Uh, rocking the hollow points. Um, put this bad boy away. Keep it safe. So, all right. So that's it for today. I'm going to try. I hope I don't break your hearts. I did move the live to tonight. But my nephew's coming in from college, and we have like a family dinner, which I only found out about last night. So if it doesn't happen tonight, it will happen this week, and I will give you a guy's a day's notice. But are you ready for the giveaway? Now, I bought one for one of my brother's uh, guys on his demo crew because he's a great guy, and he loves tools like this, so I got him one. And then when I ordered one, I said, oh, you know what? give it him. Let me buy myself one. But I have so many of these that I'm like, you know what? I'm going to give it away. So are you ready, guys? Are you ready? Are you ready? Are you ready? Boom! Giving away the Leatherman Bolister with the sheath. That's all the tools it has in it. Okay? You can look online for all the specs and stuff. You can scan this little code from there if you want. And check it out. It is yours. So... Like, share, subscribe, but most of all, like I said, share. I got to see who shares this video the most, and I'm going to pick a winner for the Leatherman Bolster. This is the brand new um, line of Leathermans. This is their brand new um, tool that just came out. So i um, giving it away to you guys. Who is the man? Me, that's who. Anyway, that's all I have for you today, guys. I hope you have a great Sunday. Um, hope everybody's doing well. Uh, sorry it's been a little over a week. Um, but we do have more sling bag giveaways that I saw. I, I promised you. I didn't forget. Still have them in the giveaway box. So don't worry. I promise you they'll be giving away soon. We got some more peanut lighters to give away. And I think it's time to do a Maxpedition giveaway. I've been talking about it for a couple months. I got to see which bag that I have with tags on it because I wouldn't give you guys something used. And we're going to do a Maxpedition giveaway. So thanks a lot, guys. As always, stay safe, stay clean, and be kind to one another. EDC TVs out. Stay tuned, guys. We got a great show coming up.